let's get this started my name is Dijo, and let's answer this question which all tests to take clat elit lsat india snap christ university test nlat for nmimers and other tests which all tests we should take now before we answer that question it is important to look at a few things i, I think we have to look at we should look at this in from multiple angle where we're going to start with is looking at the num number of seats there are these 23 national universities and there's a total in intake i have not counted the uh, the seats reserved for uh, foreign nationals and are sponsored etc i'm just looking at the seats available to let's say us and uh, the highest is you, you could see some 180s and though this 180 also includes all sort of uh, reservation also includes for example bangalore there is a 25 percentage horizontal reservation for Karnataka domicile students and we've got a seat getting into 60 and you might be asking this why is this important when it comes to this test by the way I put this in order of year of establishment that's why you probably uh, you would see NLU Delhi here this is not a ranking it's a 12th national university established by the way NLU Delhi is uh, one, one of the, one of the colleges uh, which takes another test which is ALET all India law entrance test all other colleges uh, take the CLAT but again, the question is, why am I saying this? The reason why I'm saying this is to look at this. There are 23 national universities, 23 across the country, spread across our country. And total intake of all the 23 national universities put together is that figure 2921. Let's think about it. 23 national universities every year creates around 3,000 graduates. Some of these national university has got 60 seats. And I'm, why, well, I'm, I'm asking, it's, just, it's, it's university, right? You, you, it's not national law classroom, is it? Is it a national law classroom? I mean, 60 will be like one classroom. It's, it's our university. And if I look at the All India seats available for, I mean, this also includes, uh, so sort of the, 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 the remove these, the All India seats are 1,308. That would average about the average, therefore, about 57 per university, by the way. This average would be probably about 100 and uh, just about 120 ish approximately per university. The average seat is 57 and the total applicant is 60,000. OK. OK. So which means that uh, if, if I count, let's say the total intake. So that's probably about 3,000. That about 5% of the students who take the CLAT has got an opportunity to study in one of the 23 national universities. Let me let me look at the word 23. And you might be wondering, sir, why are you talking about 23 as a number? Why is that important? Let's 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 go to US. Okay, let's go to US. In the US, the the the, the law program is known as the Juris Doctor program. Juris Doctor, JD. It's a Juris Doctor program. And in India, uh, someone who has uh, completed their 12th can st prepare, uh, start, uh, do a graduation law, which is a five year program. In the US, the Juris Doctor program, the law, law program happens after graduation, it's a three year program. But what is important is there they take the uh, LSAT test. I'm, I'm using the word LSAT US here uh, because there's an LSAT India version. The number of applicants is pretty similar to the CAT. Now, if you look at the universities, I've taken this data from this source. Uh, Yale University, one university has got 636 intake. Columbia University has got 1,293 intake. Harvard University, 1,747. One, one, one. 1,747. 10 universities put together has an intake of 9,126. 23 national universities put together has got 2,921. 3,000. This 3,000, I think here, would be taken care by about two college. Now, you might be asking, come on, come on, come on, sir. What can't compare? No, can't, can't compare. I mean, this is U.S., and this is India. We are very different. Our population is much larger. We have got a large many students pool. Um, but, but yeah, but, but 
let's look at this from another perspective. Today, I know that people who are looking at a rank of 600, I am uh, feeling okay, feeling good. But someone who's getting a rank of 6,000 is definitely feeling bad, saying that they have this horrible, horrible rank in, 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 the, in the class, 6,000, horrible rank. But actually, when you look at this, there's 600 out of roughly about 60,000. It's, it's what, top 1%? Yeah, yeah, 600 divided by 60,000 is 1%. This is the 99th percentile. And that means, that's like saying, among 100 kids, you are among the top one. And what about this? 6,000, ah, that 6,000 is not a good rank. That is uh, top 10%? It is. So the 90th percentile? That's like saying, in a class of 100, I've got a rank of 10. Is it bad? Oh, of course, look, look there's 6,000 rank. In... The issue as to why this rank is bad is not because this rank is bad, it's because we don't have that many seats. That rank, which is, let's say, the top 10% is rank, is not allowing us the seats. Had this been the case, I'm just saying, hypothetically, right? each university has about 360 intake, not much, at least double the intake. The top eight one, I, I, I put in order of establishment of, you might say NLU Delhi is ranked, I'm just saying order of establishment, these universities should take care of, eight universities should take care of probably the current intake. Therefore, the person with the rank of 600 should, should, should look at the top three for sure. Now, you would say, sir, what about placements and all? Yeah, 360 is too much of a number. What about placements? I mean, the university's job is not to, they are not placement agencies. I mean, are, you, are, are we telling ourselves that India as a country does not require that many lawyers? Or the college are incapable of creating great life for 360 kids? Are we saying that one national university in this country is only capable of creating, changing the life of about 60 students? And for some reason, they cannot create opportunities for 360 kids or 400 kids or 700 kids. And that's somehow the, the, the law provision in India does not require that many number of students. I, I don't know what the reason is. I'm not here to judge. I'm not blaming any of this uh, college. I'm sure that they have their own constraint. I'm saying for us, <coughs> from the perspective, is when we are thinking about, let's say, that when, when one score, the two marks on that day are two marks. It, it can make or break our life. When we look at which all tests to take, it is absolutely important that we look at the also the, from this perspective. While it is my dream, my hope that I make it to the top three colleges. I want to make it to Bangalore, Hyderabad, I, uh, uh, maybe Kolkata, or, or even even in New Delhi. Some of the people dream about getting the school. We we cannot escape the reality that the opportunities that is available by the schools are so limited till till such a day that that in indian law universities truly are universities by looking at intakes like this we have to be a little pragmatic in terms of our decision to to answer while well, answering that question which all tests to take now let's look at these schools jindal global law school has got 780 seats right now you could at this point in time look at this data and go be a little cynical or oh, you know why they have that many seats they'll get a lot many fees and simply all these are private university that cynicism aside i don't think that uh, you need to be cynical is in terms of the reason why these colleges has got these many seats is because they want to make a lot of money but cynicism aside uh you have colleges like jindal university has got about 780 seats now let's look at from this perspective that nlsiu bangalore for a long period of time, I think recently they increased intake. A long period of time in, has, has intake about 80 seats in LSIU Mangalore. So in 10 years, let's say starting from 2000 to 2010 or 2010 to 2020, in those 10 years, or let's say in the last 20 years, they have probably created close to about 1,600 law graduate, right? In about 20 years. 
Jindal Gobal Law University does that in about two years. All the symbiosis campuses, I'm including everything. The symbiosis law school in Pune has got 300 seats and there are other colleges, right? All the campus put together has got 1,080 1, seats. NMIMS, all the campus put together at 960 seats. Christ University has 366. The GLC in Bombay has got 240 seats, though there is a reservation for Maharashtra domicile, but then each college has got seats that are available for us. Now, you would at this point in time worry about a lot many things now. What about placement? What about quality? What about this? What about that? But, but for me to answer this question, which test to take, why the hell am I worrying about those things now? It is absolutely important for us to ensure that we create opportunities for us so that we can evaluate it later. The question as to whether a school A is better is, 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 is between school A or school B, okay, law school A to law school B, to even ask that question, first, first you should have the right to ask that question. That means you should apply to A, you should apply to B, and then you get admit from A, you get admit from B, and then you can ask, ask the question A or B. Now, why are we asking the question today? Which school is better for what? Let's ask that question once we get the admit from the colleges. My job today is to ensure that I would have to, I don't, I'm not looking at the test. I'm, 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 I want to have a great career, right? And of course, school is an engine vehicle to help me reach there. But the school is just one part. The career is going to span for 40, 50 years of my life. And I know how the, I, I know that once once I pass out of a particular law school, it, the rest of it's about what I do with my life. So today, I should not be worried about any of these questions. Which school is better? What quality is better? I'm hearing this about the school. Today, my job is to ensure that I create opportunities for myself. And here is where the problem happens. We, we A, B create perceptions. Oh, I've heard from my friend that this college is bad, therefore I'm not going to take the test. Or we have self-imposed constraint. Not Delhi. I've seen, I've, I've heard this from, from parents in Bombay. So sorry, I'm, I'm not saying in general, I'm saying some of them at least. Delhi, I will not send. Delhi. Yeah, I've heard this. That's like saying, okay, I have a job offer for you. What is it? You're going to be the next Chief Justice of India. Where do you have to go? Delhi. No, 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 no. But, 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 and what? I, and this could be any self-imposed constraint. I know even, for example, I want, oh, my, my, uh, I, I don't know, uh, this, this, uh, this, my, my, my daughter, my son is always with, with me. I don't know what to do alone in that particular place. What, what? You have a five year, which is your education in the law school, and then you're going to spend at least about 40 years, at least, and let's say at least 45 years in your career. Weigh that decision. You can always come back to whichever is a hometown and come back. You, you have to weigh this again, these two things, and that is not something that you have to think. We should not, at this point in time, have any constraint in, uh, imposed onto us. We should not have at this point in time any perception of the quality imposed onto us. At this point in time, it is basically important that look, let's look at some top colleges and let's look at some top tests. I want to keep my options open. Right? Therefore, my first uh, is that I'm going to be agnostic at this point in time in terms of the test. I'm going to prepare for all the tests. So I will write the CLAT. I will obviously, definitely, definitely write ALET, of course. I will write LSAT India. As a test, I will write it. Delsat India as a test is taken by Jindal Lubu Law School, is also accepted by NMIMS, UPES. And I, I will I will then number four, symbiosis law admission test. I will take it. I will even, even take that NLAT. And I will also take the Christ University test. I will take all tests. And you're saying that what about sir? What about preparation? Okay, let's look at the preparation. What is what is what is the test? Test got some comprehension. Okay, let's look, let's look at English. Let's look at the areas. English, logic, legal, quant, and GK. Okay, let's start with 
examination number one, which has got CLAT. CLAT has got English. CLAT has got logic. CLAT has got legal. CLAT has got quant. CLAT has got cheek. All right, great. What about ELIT? ELIT now is telling that there is English. There is a logic, legal, probably a part of logic. Then there is GK. So th this is our question mark here. I'm not too sure. Right. Uh, what about what about uh, what about LSAT India as a test? Uh, LSAT India's test has got one section of re uh, reading comprehension, critical reasoning, and uh, critical reasoning and analytical reasoning, which will be logic. Uh, it does not have legal. It does not have quant. It does not have GK. So okay. Now what about the test, which is a symbiosis law admission test? SLAT. A slat, at least from uh, just, uh, the test structure point of view, it has got uh, uh, English, uh, logical reasoning, analytical reasoning. It has got legal. It has got GK. It, it does not have so, sort of have con. At least the con will be there probably in the logic section. But but let's put it that way. So you 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 have a test which is which is uh, testing the same skills. Now, what stops me from preparing? or taking all these tests. My preparation for one test is side of complementing my preparation of the test. In some cases, even, even, even adding on to the whole thing. So today, when you are, are, are the, the, trying to, it is, un, it, it, it is, how do I put this? These are, these are not stuff that you would ask yourself today. Today, my job is to take the test and look at the outcomes. And based on the outcomes, whatever be the outcome, I'm not saying because you're taking 10 tests, you will go all over. It is not. It's the same thing. I was uh, uh, talking uh, to this uh, boy, right? uh, I think about last week. If CLAT rank uh, was about 200-ish. Right? And once the CLAT is done, he was, he was never planning to take ALIT, but he just thought he'll go take that. He did not separately prepare for the ALIT as an examination, but he went and took the test. His rank is 42. Now he's going to NLU Delhi. The people I know who have, who have created the option of else, uh, taking the LSAT India for some reason, plan did not happen, but at least they have a chance to go to a school. At least that option exists. Whether you exist, exercise that option or not, the option exists. So to everyone, to Answer, and, uh, for, to answer the question, which all tests to take, answer is all. Just take all. And I will also recommend, I will also say that when you're applying to, let's say, if you decide to look at symbiosis or admission test, it gives an opportunity to apply at campuses. You apply to campuses, four campuses, apply it. Yeah, it costs a little bit extra money, but that's okay. Apply. At least a test. So you, your CLAT, for example, allows you all, all NLU. Okay, and you have to make a decision whether to apply for certain other school, maybe Nirma University or some school that accept the score that we can decide later, right? Uh, your LSAT India as a test, uh, obviously, the second one is ALIT. ALIT is only for uh, NLU Delhi. LSAT India's test open doors for a lot of these private institutions in India, including Jindal Global Law School. Apply, don't worry about fees, fees, and all now. Okay, later. If if you actually if in fact if we get a very high percent at the offer scholarship, it opens. You can decide on taking the test. You've got a, a, a symbiosis like I told you, SLAT. When the SLAT application comes out, you also need to apply to campuses for the five. Apply to all. Same is the case with NMIMS. Same is the case with State of Christ Modern City. Today your decision is absolutely simple. Which all test to take? I am going to take everything. All test. Because I want to keep my options open. There's no harm. There's no shame. I want to keep my options open. And I will give my everything to prepare for the test. And now it's fine. The CLAT is going to happen in the month of December. Now I get time for other tests. It's great. In fact, LSAT India will give you two chances. One in January. One in... Uh, the, there are two tests. At least twice it happens. The rest of the test is probably happening later. And you must... Take advantage of all the tests. I'm also guessing that today, since the CLAT result may came, come out early, a lot many people will be anyway will start taking other tests as well. But in your mind, you kind of plan that I'm going to take all the tests. That's what I want to share with you today. I hope this made sense. Goodbye.